Speaking of the airport, the low-cost carrier Allegiant has just announced a new non-stop flight from Louisville. The airline says they'll begin offering service to Charleston, South Carolina, beginning May 22nd. The flights will be two days a week. Allegiant says the uh, route is seasonal, meaning they'll likely stop after the summer vacation season. Well, Cards fans will get a whole new experience this upcoming football season at Cardinal Stadium. That's right. UofL announced Monday there will only be two reserved parking lots. The purple lot, which is south of Card Tunnel, will still require a permit, but will be will now be first come, first serve. Also in the purple lot, there will be a family-friendly fan zone. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Inside, there will also be a beer garden and a stage for live music. They do the cards march and everything, mm -hmm. so if you added that, they would definitely like go over that, especially with like the parents and alumni that all come to the game. It would be a big hit. UofL officials say they are also working to install Wi-Fi and improve cell service around the stadium. Well, the Kentucky Derby Museum is launching a new tour focused on bourbon and bridles. And our Alex Durham joins us live from the museum with details. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, guys. So this tour combines horse racing and bourbon, um, all things Kentucky, and it's right here at the Derby Museum. And Barry is actually one of the tour guides. Barry, can you tell me kind of the stuff? Um, you know, you're going to take them to the track. You're going to bring them back here to the, the cafe. But what are they going to learn during this tour? What's the goal? Well, they'll try to learn a little bit of the uh, connection between bourbon and the horses. Obviously, uh, they're both intertwined in our state. and. Uh, over the years, many horse owners on their farms had distilleries there too. Some of our past derby winners were actually named after bourbons and things like that. So the connection between the horse racing industry and the bourbon industry. And now during the prohibition, prohibition and, and you know when the derby was happening during that time, do you know, do people still drink here? Well, I'm sure they did, but mint juleps weren't uh, what we were used to at the time, but I'm sure okay. the local bootleggers were plenty busy at that time because sure. people were still going to uh, imbibe when they came to the Kentucky Derby. That's just part of it. Right, and the mint juleps were m much l way less expensive way less expensive then. Yeah, uh, like, I th like I said, 1938, I think, was the first year was the official drink of the Derby. The next year, I believe, they upped the price 25 cents, and that allowed you to keep the souvenir glass. Okay. And then that kind of started the tradition of collecting them. Which is what you can still do to this day. And also in this tour, you get to come back here to the cafe. You get to learn how to make a mint julep um, test out some bourbon yourself and you also get to take home um, your souvenir glass. So how are you going to be teaching people how to make this mint julep? Well, we're going to start with the basic ingredients, so we'll actually get a chance to make uh, a simple syrup, which is a, a solution of dissolved sugar and water, um, to help kind of sweeten the bourbon, where you get your kind of your, your bitterness from the bourbon, your sweetness from the sugar water, and then, of course, your herbaceousness from the mint. Um, we'll get to try uh, three other local selections, uh, similar uh, from the uh, kind of major houses. Um, and so they'll just get a little, uh, a little unique kind of intersection between the three industries, in my opinion, which is the horses, the bourbon, and of course the hospitality um, of, of this great city, of this great region. So um, that, that's, that's what they'll learn. Absolutely. Kind of like a one-stop shop. You get to learn about the horses, the bourbon, the hospitality, um, some cool candies. Um, and also, this is happening, it starts on the 23rd. It's going to be every Thursday. Um, so you can get your tickets online, book those. And don't forget, you get to try the bourbon, see the horses, learn how to make a mint julep, stamp off your Urban Bourbon Trail passport, and you get to take home that souvenir glass as well. Jennifer Stefan sounds like mm -hmm. a full day of fun to me. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. I can't believe uh, Matt, who is standing by here, <laughs> that we're talking about Derby already. You know, I feel uh, like in Louisville and Kentucky after <laughs> the holidays, we kick into that full gear, full it's steam coming. ahead. It's coming. Derby's I, coming. I mean, it's a whole season in itself, right? Yeah, And absolutely. so since in recent years, it seems like we haven't had much in the way of springs or falls, why don't we just switch it out for Derby so we can have like Christmas, winter, Derby, and summer?